You're trying to manage your inflammatory condition. Meanwhile, your blood sugar is feeling it. Here's what most people don't realize. Insulin resistance is incredibly common among those of us with hydronitis superativa. Even if you've never been told you have a blood sugar problem, research shows that people with HS are much more likely to experience insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome than those without. When your cells stop responding well to insulin, your body ends up with more sugar and more insulin circulating in your blood, both of which ramp up inflammation and make flare is harder to control. The worst flare-ups often happen when blood sugar is swinging up and down, whether from skip meals, hidden sugars and healthy foods or stress pushing your hormones out of balance. I used to ignore these subtle cues, but once I started focusing on bl steady blood sugar, more protein, more fiber, fewer sugar crashes, and my flares finally started to let up. The real takeaway, if you're stuck in a cycle of major flares, insulin resistance could be the missing link. These are topics I have written about in my new ebook and a guide I wish I had when I was diagnosed. Now I'm sharing it with anyone who comments, guide below. You'll get the first 12 pages and I know you're gonna wanna read on.